Hey everyone, welcome back to the Data Corner. Today we have got an exciting tutorial for you on automating your daily LinkedIn posts using Power Automate and Google Sheets. If you're looking to boost your professional presence without the daily hassle, you're in the right place. All right, let's dive in. But first we need some content, right? That's where Google Sheet comes in. So step one is setting up our Google Sheet. So I've created a simple sheet with date column and text column. And there is a code column as well, which we want to pick up and post in LinkedIn. The idea is that each row represents a day and the text column contains the post content for that day. So the date is currently in day, month and year format. So that is something important to keep in mind. Now let's move on to the Power Automate part. If you are new to Power Automate, don't worry. It's a fantastic tool by Microsoft that lets you automate workflows between your favorite apps and services. I am already signed into Power Automate with my Outlook account. If you have work email, please use that as it offers more features. But for beginners, personal accounts work just as fine. On our home screen, click on create. So let's create a new flow. We want to create a scheduled flow because we want it to run at a specific time. So click on scheduled flow. Right, so let's give it a starting date and starting time. So we can just use today's date. 10 a.m. works fine. Repeat, we want it to repeat every once every day. And here we will change minute to day because we want this to run every day at a specific time. Let's click on create. And you can see this added a step that says recurrence. If you want to review details of any step, you can just click on it. And it says recurrence, interval one and days one. If you click on advanced options, it will show you any advanced options. So it says start time and it has today's date and time in UTC. Click on it again to collapse it. Let's move on to the Google Sheets connection. So let's click on new step. Adding Google Sheets connector or any connector is very easy. We search for Google Sheets and connectors and then select the get rows. Type sheets here. And here we will select get rows. So keep in mind that we have a get row here as well. Notice the S missing in here. Unfortunately, this one does not work. I have tested it before. So it only returns one row. There's no specific way to figure out what row to return. So we'll return all of the rows for now. All right, so if you click on the three dots here, you can see the information here. So it says, in my connection, the data corner five at gmail.com. So it means that this has been able to connect it because I've already set up the connection. In your case, you will just need to give your login and password and it will connect you to the Gmail ID. Once it is connected, it will automatically give you the option to pick the file. So click on the folder. This will take you to the main Google Drive. Here you can click on show contents and this will give you the list of sheets you have. So it shows here daily tweets and if I go to my Google Sheet, I can see daily tweets here and the sheet name is sheet one. So just select this here. Once that is selected, it will say pick up worksheet name. Click on the drop down, it will give you a list of all the worksheets available. Mine is sheet one. I never really changed it. I should have changed it, which is fine. Right, so far so good, click on save. Let's now test our flow to see if our connection works. Always make it a habit to check from here as well. So click on flow checker and it says zero warnings and zero errors, which is good. If there are any issues, this will normally have a red icon with it. So now let's click on test. Since it's a scheduled flow and it will run at a specific time, we will need to run this manually. So click on manually, click on test, click on run a flow and it says flow ran successfully. So click on done and this will take you to the flow screen says your flow ran successfully, which is great. If you want to get more information on these, just click on any specific task or step and it will give you more information. So we are interested in the get rows. It says inputs. Input is the daily tweets. That's the worksheet name and worksheet one. That is sheet one. For the outputs, it says click to download. So let's click on it to see what it has downloaded. Let me zoom this in a bit. All right, so this seems to be in a JSON format not exactly in Excel column format, which we are used to seeing, which is fine. So if we do a bit digging here, we can see that Python pandas tip one is here, which is the first row here. And then if we look at the last here, we say Python tip four, which is the last row here. It means that we were able to pull all of the information from our Google Sheet, which is great. Now the next challenge is to use dynamic content from our Google Sheet to populate LinkedIn post. So we need to figure out a way to filter the rows to only contain the row which matches the today's date. So for example, today is Jan 14, 2024. So we want to pick up this row here. This is, this is in a bit different date format, which is fine. Says day, month and year. So let's go back to our Power Automate. Go back to our flow, continue to edit it. Click on edit. To filter our rows, we will add a new step here and we will save 
filter array. We want to filter all, all of our rows and only keep the row which matches today's stage. In actions, filter array, data operation, add it. So it has multiple options here. So from will only have one value, which is records value. So basically this is all of the rows that are being pulled from get row step. So add this here. For choose a value, it is asking us what column or what is your filter criteria. So we want to filter using date. And here we want is equal to, which is fine. And here we need to give either a dynamic content or an expression. So basically expression is something similar to your Excel formulas. If you are familiar with Excel formulas, you can see concat here, some of the formulas you already might be able to recognize. You have an if else here, you have an and here. So most of these formulas are in Excel as well. So here we will give it today's date and time, which it will match with the row from Google Sheet and then filter it. So we'll use a formula that says format date time. So let's add it here. Once you start to type, you will start to see the formulas. So select it from date time. If you open the parentheses, you will see that information that it wants. So it says timestamp. And the second thing it wants is locale, which is the format of the date. And it also says what it does. It says required a string that contains time and returns a string in a date format. All right, so to get today's date and time, we will say UTC now. And for the date format, we will give it DD, MM, and 4Ys. This is Microsoft proprietary way of adding days. I will add a link to more reading on how this format works. This is a simple format. I just copy paste it from internet. You don't have to remember all of these. Click on OK. And uh, you can see this added a new formula that says FX. That means that this is an expression. If you click on it, it will show you the formula as well. Click on save. And what we will do is we will test this again. As you can see, flow checker again has no red box or if you click on it, it says no error warnings, which is good. Click on test. And now we can use automatically and we can say with a recent use trigger because this will save us some time and it will not do all of the steps before. So we'll just pick this one, which was succeeded. So let's select this one, click on test. Basically what this is doing, it, it is using the information from previous trigger and it's saving us steps. So our flow ran successfully. Let's click on filter array to see what it has filtered. So you can see the input. It should have four rows. So we have tip one, this is row one, tip two, this is row two, tip three, and tip four. It means that it picked all four rows from input, which was the output of get rows. It picked up all four lines. And for the output, we should have, you can see the date matches, tip two, and the date column matches with 14.1, which is today's date, 14.1. And you can see from here as well. 14.1, this should be tip 2, which is good. So let's click on this box again to collapse it. Go back. Great. Now let's move on to the LinkedIn part. So continue to edit it. Click on edit. To post on LinkedIn, we will use a post message action. So let's add a new step. Again, in connectors, we will just search for LinkedIn and we will use post a message action. Say it's post an article, list my companies, post an article, my company page. So we'll just select post an article. So it has four options here. It says commentary, visibility, URL of the article and title. So the advanced options as well. We can use them or skip them. So the commentary is the body of the post. So for the commentary, we need to figure out a way to add the information that we have in this column of our Google Sheet, which is a tweet text. This has a header. And then we need to have the code as the body of the message. So we need to figure out a way to combine these two cells, right? So we can use concat to do that. All right, so we know that our filter result is contained in the filter array. And to figure out the data from filter array, let's add a new step here, just for testing for now. So we say compose. And we need to figure out a way to extract data from filter array for the specific column. So we add an expression here and we will say body. Here we will give the filter array. So we say filter array, maybe a question mark, and we add zero here. And then we add the tweet text. So click on OK and let's see what this pulls. I'm just going to remove this for now. Click on save and let's test it with the same triggers. We just want to see what is being stored in the compose action. And you can see that the compose message has the input and output which is basically the tweet text here, which is what we extracted from the filter array. That means that we are able to extract the information from the filter array for a specific column as well. So let's go back, continue to edit. Now we just need to remove this step. We don't really need it. We just need to save this formula. So let's copy paste this formula. So what we are doing is we are accessing the body of the filter array, and then we are saving the first result, and then we are pulling the tweet text from it. 
let's copy this we will need this later remove this step add the step for linkedin back again and here in commentary we will say this value for the visibility we can just say public which is fine url of the article i'm just going to give this link to my channel link of the title i'm just gonna say channel link all right this is good now let's click on save it says your flow is ready to go we recommend you test it so click on test and automatically we'll keep on using with the recent news trigger that's going to save us these steps so let's just select one of the succeeded tests before click on test it says your flow ran successfully so let's go to linkedin let me go back to home tab and it's from here we will say view profile and this should have posted a tweet right now so it says posted tweet now and it says body this is not correct so let's go back to our flow and see what we can figure out okay so i realize now so we need to add this in an expression instead of directly adding this here so we say expression and now let's just add a concatenation here as well so we will just add a concat so our formula right now is concat then we add the filter array we pull out the tweet text and then we add this data right here that is decode uri component this is for adding a new line so we add two new lines here and then we add another formula copy paste it and this time we extract the code so basically what we are doing is we know that our data extracted data is in filter array so we pull out tweet text and the code from it click on ok click on save and now let's just and run this again okay we have a post here so let's click on it to show more and you can see we have our tweet right here it's data science made easy python pandas tip replace space in column names and then we have the code here as well and the channel link we provided is here as well and there you have it folks an automated system that pulls content from Google Sheets based on date and posts it on LinkedIn. Imagine the time you will save while maintaining a consistent online presence. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more automation and productivity tips. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for tuning into the Data Corner. Until next time, stay productive and keep automating.